VCU, he did not start Cornelius or Ryan Pearson. And that was a game where George Mason found itself trailing by 15. You miss a layup like that, it's like getting hit in the head with a bat for the rest of your teammates. Finney, strong on the glass and scores. Finney, an incredibly energetic player. He's got numbers. A sell. And it counts. The reason I say that, John, is you see a team with an outstanding. In the lead. Easy plays. Neely, the two seniors combined for the score. Interior defender for George Mason. Neely comes up with a steal. And they need, they need Morris. They're going to have to do a much better job of taking care of the basketball today. These runouts are not expected for the Monarchs. And when they get them and get a big lead, they can be front runners with that great defense. Against guys like Gerald Lee. Finney, deep three. Yep. Ben Finney, 25th three of the year. He's got five. Your scoring draft. Finney, the quick kick in the corner. Neely knocks it down. Neely has five. Finney has five. And Old Dominion leads it by 13. And look at the ball. The fans, and today is sold out. That's just a lazy play by Cam As literally handing the ball to the Monarchs. And Neely, who's only started eight games for Old Dominion, but Blaine Taylor obviously had the right button to push Neely again with a steal, this time for the big time slam. Both George Mason and Old Dominion, 65%. Got to get it back. Lee for three. Gerald Lee's fourth three of the year. He's got six, the lead 14. His rocky start today. Hassell's in the right place at the right time. That's hard to believe. And a tough league on top of that, and an easy backdoor cut in Finney. Shot clock to five. Delancey to the hole, and got it. Noted more for Did Blaine Taylor say, I'm going to start Neely today, and he's going to dominate the game? Maybe it's his birth in the preseason of the CAA, along with Charles Jenkins of Hofstra Lee. So difficult as an offensive threat, but gets his hands in the passing lane, up the floor late, and what do you know? A wide open three. Lee again to Carter. This time he's able to finish it with authority. Old Dominion getting the ball to the center of the floor against that zone. It's a great interior passing here for the Monarchs. See, the ball gets to the middle of the zone. Everybody collapses around Lee. Finney got the three. Ben Finney's second three of the game. He's got 10 points. In the corner, good look for Neely. Got another one. Marshall Neely has 10. Ben Finney has 10. And Old Dominion will take a 13-point lead into the locker room. Couldn't have drawn it up any better, Joe. That is just a great finish to end the half. And a great half for Neely, who keyed both the offense and the defense coming off the bench. We're going to need more offense out of him in the second half. There just aren't that many explosive options. There is James. There is James. it away. Iliadis with the score. Takes it the other way for Old Dominion. Iliadis for three. Yes. He knew he made that as soon as he left his hand. I thought exactly. We were directly online with that shot. Cornelius with seven. And he has all four of George Mason's points in the second half. It's Chris Cooper, a sophomore, on the floor for the first time, gets into the scoring act. Iliadis for three. That was on the heels of a breakaway layup. And then Cooper gets the crowd alive, saying, Coop has an offensive rebound. This time, Hassell rejects the shot to Neely, and the technical is going to take away an Old Dominion basket. And I believe some, I think Morrison got ejected. I think he just got double teed. I thought it was a good block on Hassell's part. 
But when they blew the whistle, it prevented an old dominion dunk. Neely was about to put on a show. Yeah, and my head had turned to follow the play up the floor. I'm not completely sure what happened behind the play. Morrison obviously thinks he's fouled, so he mounts off once, gets the first tee that we saw on the right edge of the screen, and then obviously set a second place as Cornelius again. Numbers for George Mason is Foster, who just checked in the red shirt freshman with the dunk. John, this may sound like an ignorant question. Yeah, and his limits. Finney, another look at a three. Ben Finney's third three of the game. Terrific execution against the zone. Ball reversal. I think the Monarchs are going anyway because I think they're good enough and they've done it. Iliadis. Sherrod Wright's first field goal. He's got three points as we approach the five minute mark. Hassell up by himself. GMU extending his team's not done winning. Neely, one more time, he got it. Terrific performance by the CAA. Falls to 11 and 4 in the CAA. Once again, our final score Old Dominion 76, George Mason 60. Coming up next on Comcast Sportsnet, game two of our doubleheader as VCU takes on James Madison. For Joe Lenardi and our entire crew, I'm John Castleberry saying good night from Norfolk. Tonight's game has been a presentation of Comcast Sportsnet and the Colonial Athletic Association. Good night, everybody.